Alright guys, welcome back to Firefish channel, it's Kai. So a while back, I just said that on Instagram that I would actually review this set if y'all wanted to. So today I'm actually doing that. So this set is set 80101, Chinese New Year's Eve dinner set. It has around 615 pieces and retailed for around $84.90 in Singapore. And otherwise, it was not available in countries like United States, I think. It was only available in Asia countries and I think Australia. So yeah, that's about it for the information of this set. So before I go on to the main review of this set, I would like to actually show you the box art of this set first because I actually kept the box after I built the set up. So right now I'm going to show you the general box art. So first of all, this set is really, for me, is beautiful. And this word over here in Chinese basically means Chun. Chun means spring in English. So that's why it's called the Spring Festival, Chinese Festival Special Edition and all. So spring is Chun. And then there's all these Chinese characters here which make this set very unique. And then, oh yeah, I want to explain the Ang Pao thing. So basically these red packets are called Ang Pao. It's a symbol of like luck, good wishes to someone else. But like from what I know the rule is that if you get married, basically you don't get red packets. Only people who are not married usually get the red packets. Or maybe if you want to really wish someone good luck in your of a more elderly position, like you're the grandma of a person, maybe you still give the person the hung bow. My general rule, if you get married, you usually don't get it. So yeah, that's about it for the front of the box. Now the top of the box is showing the characters of this set. And yeah, there are accessories and everything. It's pretty nice. The mom over here with her unique traditional costume. And then I'm going to show you the back of the set. Yeah, I kind of love the back of the set as well. Because you can see the small details included in the set as well. Like the front of the door. Of course, the dining table which has a lot of unique pieces. So if you ever get a set, you will enjoy those pieces, seriously. Although they are just printed, they are amazing. By the way, all these pieces here are just stickers, which I will show you later on. So right now, let's move on to the main review of the set. All right, so let's start with the main review of this set. I'm gonna start with the entrance and the exterior of the set first. So first of all, this just looks like firecrackers or like those, um, you know, Chinese accessory that they hang up during Chinese New Year and all. So it's probably like lanterns of some sort. It's pretty nice looking with golden and red pieces. And then there's the plants over here with red flowers. I think these red flowers are only available in this set if I'm not wrong. Or you can get them break I think. And there's pink flowers with those normal, you know, green plants for Lego that you usually find. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Even the pavement up to the you know, entrance is pretty interesting as well with this grey and light grey and dark grey pieces. So, but the most interesting uh, detail of the entrance is really the symbol and the sticker on the door itself. So this sticker and symbol, base, uh, symbol basically means, um, this word is Fu. Fu basically means fortune or good luck in English. So. When, so this word is actually put in upside down mode. The meaning of this is because they, they turn the word upside down because um, when you say upside down for this word fu basically means fu tao. Fu tao is meaning that um, it means upside down fu. In Chinese, it basically almost resembles good luck arrives. That's why they actually turn around the word and face it upside down to actually represent like good luck is arriving at their door of some sort. So that's the traditional meaning of this symbol itself. Otherwise, the windows are pretty interesting as well and that's about it for the entrance. Next on, yeah, the exterior of this set, to be honest, is not much from this side. It's just a window piece and that's it. And then the back of the set as well. I mean, they did try their best to include some details like this, window meshes and everything but like otherwise it's pretty plain so let's just move on to the main details of this set which is the interior
Alright, so before we start with the interior design of the set itself, I really want to show you the details of the mini fingers first. So let's move on to that first. Alright, starting off, we have the mom and dad of the set itself. So I'm going to move on with the mom's costume design first. So this costume in Chinese is called Qi Pao. It's like a kimono version for the Chinese people basically. So it's very intricately designed. If you can see there's um I'm not sure pink roses on it and all. Otherwise, I will show you the back. Impressively enough, the back is also printed. You know how usually many figures are only printed on the front and not the back? Well this one has the entire costume printed. So that's very amazing. The only part is that the sights are not printed, but hey, I'm not one to complain about this. This is an amazing minifigure. So let's move on to the dad now. Alright, it's a bit disappointing because compared to the mom of the set, the dad's design is pretty simple. I mean, to be honest, guys' design during Chinese New Year and all those kind of costumes are pretty pathetic in compared to the woman's costume. But anyways, yep, this is the dad's. Um, torso design It's kind of okay. It's a bit intricate with a few details of Chinese costume for guys and all But then the pants is um the the legs of the minifigure is really just a simple white in color piece And then otherwise the dad has spectacle if you can see from before And he's back the back of his torso is also only have a bit of details with some blue patterns on it and all but that's about it for these two minifigures. Now let's move on to the next two minifigures. So now we have the grandfather and grandmother of the set 80101. So first of all, I'm gonna focus on the grandma's torso and legs design first. So the grandma has a pretty regular face for minifigure with a spectacles and all. I think I've seen it in one of those Lego City sets. But yeah, uh, her traditional costume is also kind of like a sea power of some sort, but it's less of a interesting design as compared to the mom's one. It's less elegant and all, but it's still quite a unique torso piece, similar to a guy's one actually. Looking at it, so then she has a simple uh, black color leg piece, and then if I move on to the back of the minifigure, yep, her design is similar to the front as well. And then her legs are black as at the front. For the grandfather, the design is kind of similar to the grandma's as well. Other than his torso being brown in color, I guess they're kind of a couple thick. A uh, couple um, costume design, I guess. And then the two accessories he's holding was the red packets of Ampao that I was mentioning about earlier on. And he also has a simple black leg piece. And that's about it for the minifigure. And then he has his glasses out. Yeah, that's it. Lastly, for the minifigures, we have the grandchildren or the daughter and the son of the set. The youngest two minifigures in the set, basically. So I speculate they are brother and sister. So the sister, okay. Next to the mom, I think that the sister's design is the best um, costume or torso design for the minifigures. So it's very intricate looking and yeah, it kind of looks like orchid flower, I guess, of some sort. Yeah, it's pretty interesting for her design. Then after she has a unique face piece as well, that I don't see much in the sets. And also the piggy tail is kind of rare, so yeah. Now let's move on to the back of her torso. So the back of her torso is kind of similar to the front and then she has a simple um, white leg piece and then otherwise yeah I love the patterns on her costume. Now for the brother, his design I have to say is the best for the male minifigures of the set. So it has an intricate design of gold color pieces on it patterned with white stripes or white brackets on it and this if I'm not wrong is a Chinese symbol of some sort but I can't really tell it from this 
his face is kind of regular looking you know I think you can find other sets and this is the if you know Credence Barebone uh, hair piece that you see from Fantastic Beasts CMF series and then the back of his torso is basically just a simple bracket looking pattern but um, to me it's still a unique torso and then if you buy this set I'm pretty sure you will be uh, excited by the minifigures as well so yeah that's about it for the minifigures now let's really move on to the main interior of the set so for the main interior of the set, this is basically the door that leads to entrance just now. And then, so main build of this set, the interior itself I would say, is definitely a dining table. So let's get straight to it right now. So the dining table is absolutely amazing. All of the pieces here are actually printed. So first of all, I think this is fish head curry of some sort and yeah, traditional Chinese meals and dishes that you will see although they are all flat tiles and all but they are very interesting in that way this is some kind of clay pot dish and then this is definitely some uh, kind of bun or some sort and yeah all those spring rolls and all that you see in Chinese meals are all inside the set and some kind of dessert for them as well now the interesting piece that you can see in this set other than those printed tiles of food is this piece over here so this you can see I'm gonna focus sorry about that wait I'm just gonna put it here so um sorry about the lighting but it's a rice piece basically so all of these rice pieces are kind of just available in this set if I'm not wrong so that's a very interesting piece because other than just using it for this set you can use for other sets like for example, Ninjago as well, and even other Chinese New Year sets. Like, do you remember the Dragon Boat Racing set? There was a shop that sells like, uh, like Chinese rice, uh, desserts for the people who are racing and all, or the spectators. Yeah, you can use it for that set because that set really involves rice pieces and everything. So that's pretty interesting. So I'm really intrigued by this uh, dining table and all. But like, there's one thing that. I feel like I should say these rice pieces are not attached by anything so when I shake the piece a bit as you can see I was trying to flip it up the rice pieces either turn around or like they basically fall off the table so, so that's pretty annoying sometimes because if you're trying to do it for play feature wise if kids want to play with it I don't really think it's a play set for them so this set is really more of a collector's kind of thing so yeah now let's move on to the grandpa section of this set so first of all this is when basically the grandfather is giving armbows to the kids so as I said people who aren't married usually get armbow and yeah so that's him giving the red packets to the children and then there's a TV over there which is showing some uh, Chinese New Year festivity show right now and then there's this uh, Chinese symbols here which says yeah which actually um, say some sort of good luck during Chinese year like Xiang Zi Ru Yi and all and yeah that's about it for the curtains and the Chinese symbol design but all of these pieces here the tiles over there are actually just printed pieces and the television as well so yeah it's kind of disappointing but there's really a lot of prints for this set even for a non idea set so that's pretty good now if you can see I'm gonna zoom in the pictures over there are basically stickers as well but like they are very like involved and amazing to have in this set because it represents like basically their family photos which you can kind of see in any kind of houses basically any house will have your family photos in it so it's very related to us as normal people so yeah the first picture on top is basically the four main family members without the grandpa and grandma then there's a couple picture by the grandparents and also the kids picture together the sibling picture 
so that's pretty interesting then there are some random books and shelves on and then there's that sticker over there which shows a pig so the reason why they showed a pig was because 2019 was the year of the pig in Chinese zodiac so that's why the pig is really involved with this set as well so those are the curtains that you saw from outside so I'm all, now I'm going to zoom out so that's basically it for the set otherwise you can see the red flower pots in the set as well and then there's nothing much interesting anymore so that's about it guys if you like this set subscribe to the channel and if you don't leave a comment see you on the next adventure bye